Tomorrow, we're gonna be spending 24 hours or more on the ice. As far as food goes, I'm not bringing any, so I have to catch all of it. Got our three holes, heater, chair. Then we got our cot that already looks like a mask. Cooking supplies, propane. Come along with me. Let's go see if we can catch some bait or some dinner and then uh, go from there. Never pass up a free hole. As long as it's not occupied, of course. Nope, might even be big enough for dinner. He might get eight, he might be bait, but we are keeping him and there's more down there. A crappie oh my gosh I don't even think I can keep that one it's just too big we might regret that I know uh, some people like the really long single videos of this kind of stuff but in catch or die tour fashion we are going to uh, do multiple videos if you hate that idea I'm sorry if you like the idea I love you but yeah got my flashbang on I'm gonna cut up my small bluegill and put a little chunk on the bottom of it and I'm gonna go searching and uh, be mobile for a while. Eventually I'm gonna just hunker down and relax and stay warm obviously, but for now, pretty nice out. It's not windy. Might as well see if we can't uh, try some other spots for a little bit. We dispatched of our tank bluegills though. They're all out of their misery and eventually here, we're going to have to clean them. Just not quite yet. All right, well even though uh, tip-ups have equated to exactly zero fish at this lake over the past year and a half for me. I am still gonna take the time to set them up because we're gonna be here a while. So maybe if they're sitting out there for half a damn year, they might get eight. We've got a bluegill head on this one and then we are gonna put a chunk of bluegill on a uh, another tip up. It does in fact look like there's a kitty down there. Who knows though. Stay tuned and stuff, should be okay-ish. Our first mark on the big bait. See if we can get him. Appeared to be a walleye. Not a kitty. Looked like a uh, bigger walleye. It wasn't moving as fast as some of the 12 inchers. And uh, it was moving too fast to be a kitty, so that'd be my guess. We'll never know though, because he didn't bite. But the snow's kind of starting finally, so maybe that'll get him fired up. Something down there, I just don't know if it's a walleye or a kitty. Definitely one of the two. I'm nervous. He's coming back. Definitely kitty. He's right on top of it. I'm shaking. Even just marking him makes your damn butthole pucker up. I want that just sit there for a little bit. Definitely seemed like a kitty. So now we've marked a walleye and a kitty. We just need to uh, connect. Problem is, walleyes want it moving fast, kitties want it moving slow, so. You gotta kinda guess on uh, which one you think it is. I'm almost convinced it's a kitty. Because he's back again and he's moving slow. I need to get this booger. It looks big too. Dang jerk. <sighs> you gonna get it this time, bud? He did not like the wiggle. They really, 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 really don't seem to want it moving. As I move it, like an idiot. He uh, definitely hit it with his tail or something because my rod tip was just like But he didn't really have it in his mouth, so it wasn't exactly my fault. It's getting cold though. And I sure as shit ain't moving the shack over here. I'm not moving the shack at all this whole trip, so. We're gonna have to make do. You gonna get it this time, Billy? Or are you gonna keep being a pansy? Might have to leave this guy and give up on him. He's coming back. He's gonna eat it this time. Got him. Big. Big, big. I think it's real big. <sighs> oh, bud, I can't even move him. All right, fish finder, you're going off. You're noisy. This is big, boys and girls. This is what we came here for. This is why we chose this lake. It's for giant fish.
See if we can get him and let's see how big he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think he just realized he was hooked. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Wouldn't be cool if we could get one of these sitting in bed. I guess we should probably concentrate on getting this one first. This is a grown one. How big is it? Is he gonna fit through the hole? Uh, it's pretty damn big. Oh, hell yes. You guys hear that drag? Get up here, bud. I think we might have to drill another hole, to be honest. This is one of the old reused holes that I kicked in, so it's uh, not as big as it should. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. I needed this. Get up here, bud. Is he gonna fit? Is he gonna fit? He's gonna fit. <sighs> Pow, not as big as I thought, but uh, he is uh, pretty damn big. All right, long dong, hey, hey, long dong kitty number one, probably about a nine pounder or so, maybe 10. First fish of the night, it just got dark, and uh, we still have, actually, you know what? Let's let this fish go real quick. Bye, Billy. We still have a lot, a lot, a lot of time, and we still have to figure out what we're gonna or how well sleeping is gonna go. Obviously we're gonna try to sleep, but it is now 6.49. So we are literally only three hours into this thing. And uh, we got bluegills for dinner, uh, some nine plus inches. Some of them might even be nine and a half. And then we got our uh, first kitty cat of the evening. So this should be good. Snow is starting to come down, but I don't think it should be anything too major. Hopefully, anyway. I'm gonna keep hole hopping until I get cold, and then we're set up on a pretty good spot with the shack, but I figured, well, it was still early. Might as well explore, so. All right, stay tuned. We're gonna hop around with the flashbang, see if we can't uh, get walleyes or kitties. It seems like there's almost more walleyes than kitties, but uh, yeah, it's a kitty this time. Pow. Well, we actually just marked another one. I thought my camera was on, but I was just rambling to myself. If we catch another one out of this hole, I will seriously, seriously, seriously be considering moving the shack, even though it'll be a big old pain in the ass. It'll probably take an hour. But if it means we're on top of fish all night, it might be worth it. What do you think, Willie? Think it's worth it? He's quiet. That's my bucket. I decided to name him Willie, short for Wilson. And, uh, yeah, he's my bud for the night. What movie is that? Castaway? Yeah, I think it's Castaway. Anywho, see if we can get another real quick. All right, well, I haven't marked another one for a little while, so what the hell was that? My hole just farted, and there's an owl in the distance. It's kind of creeping me out, but snow's coming down a little bit. I haven't caught another channel, uh, kitty or a walleye in this hole, so definitely not moving the shack tonight. Pretty soon, I am going to have to uh, go into the shack and uh, fish. Maybe for bed. Feels good to be doing catching, dying tours and things and catching fish. So we probably ain't dying. If you came here to watch me die, I'm sorry, but maybe next time. Brr. Hello, home. I'm back. Alrighty, well, I am uh, finally in the shack. I drilled, uh, I drilled these holes like four hours ago and I've yet to put a fish finder in. Surprised it took this long, honestly, but it is 8.35. Not sure if you can see that, my phone's kind of dark. We are only five hours in, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. I got my uh, lounging shoes on. Sorry if that's foggy, might be foggy. Lounging shoes on, heater on low, jaw jacker set up and uh, jigging in this hole. So hopefully I can mark some fish in this shack. I have this curse that I just really just can't catch much in the shack. So hopefully I can break that tonight. If I can catch one or two walleye or like a catfish out of the shack, I will be uh, more 
then please. So stay tuned, 8.35. I'm planning on going to sleep around maybe 10 or 11 or something like that. So we still got time to catch fish. So stay tuned and stuff. Pa pow Pa pow Well, got my flasher cam kind of figured out. It's like almost there. It's like flickering every once in a while, but... In case you were wondering what my flashers looked like since I went into the shack, it's basically this. I got my lure. That's sitting there. Doing nothing. Uh, is that a fish? No. There's like these weird... I don't know what this is. Comment down below. These little green marks over here, all over the place. We don't really have shrimp in Nebraska, so I don't know if it's like bugs or something, but they literally only come out at night. It's very, very, very confusing all right i forget what time the last update was i think it was like 8 30 it's 9 30 now i haven't really caught all that much in the shack and by not all that much i mean i haven't caught a damn thing i also have my camera set up to like look at my flasher and i'm talking to it i'm not sure how that'll turn out either a lot of confusing things happening right now but we're chilling it's comfortable in here and uh but yeah, not really too much else to update on. I haven't really, I haven't cleaned the bluegill. I need to do that. I uh, haven't caught anything else. I need to probably do that too. But as of right now, I think uh, most of the end of uh, this video or the bulk of it or the middle of it is going to be updates on if I'm warm or how I'm doing or if I've fallen through the ice because I don't know what's the recommended ice thickness for ice camping is, but it's only about six here. But as of right now, I mean, the ice doesn't really seem like it's going anywhere. It's not melting, so I should be fine. Anyway, that's really all I have right now. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know if anything happens, or I guess, once again, I'll let you know if anything doesn't happen. Past two updates have been kind of doesn't happen, but we'll see if we can make something of ourselves here. This spot was really good. My only regret right now is not uh, scouting a little bit more, but I mean, last week... I did pretty good here, so I thought it'd be a surefire bet to set up on, but it's just kind of how shit goes sometimes. It's called fishing. They move, they swim, they don't stay in the same spot all the time. What the hell can you do? Anyway, that's all I got right now. See you soon. Let's see if our tip-up has done anything. By the way, it's snowing pretty good. We got, we got some snow happening. That's why I went inside and fished in the shack. Normally I wouldn't that early, but I don't really have a choice. The iFish Pro has seen better days, but good enough, I suppose. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to let it sit there and see if I can wake up to a fish on it. Well, I probably could have picked a better night that wasn't as snowy so I could fish outside longer, but what can you do? So far, so good. Really stoked about how things turned out inside the shack. Really stoked how uh, fishing turned out so far, so... Yeah, no complaints from me, Stash Fam. No complaints from me. I better get back inside, though. It's kind of cold. All right, well, it is now 10.03. Probably doing too many updates, but oh well. I'm kind of bored. Not really marking any fish. Plan on going to sleep here pretty soon, but uh, I'm going to knock out these bluegills. Which one's the biggest? Hmm... I don't know, they're all about the same size. I don't know how long the bottom of a uh, five-gallon bucket is, but they're almost as big as the bottom of a five-gallon bucket, so I'm thinking they're about nine inches, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're probably going to eat them for breakfast, but I don't want to leave them sitting overnight, and uh, I ain't got shit else to do, so I'm going to clean them now, and I'm going to go to bed pretty soon. I'm sitting on my bed for the first time. It's actually not terrible so shouldn't be a bad night all right i'm gonna clean these guys and then uh get them uh, bagged up maybe put them in some frank's red hot let them soak overnight and then uh yeah bedtime and stuff all right well it is uh what hell time is it it is 10 50 p.m it is still snowing it snowed a lot more than it was uh supposed to but that's pretty much irrelevant because no snow's getting in here, but we got our mummy sleeping bag set up. I didn't realize how stupid mummy sleeping bags were. They're not your traditional sleeping bag. They're like very, very skinny. The feet aren't even open. It's like all closed and then the head is like super small. I don't know. 
Maybe that's my fault, but it wasn't what I was expecting. But that's fine, because it's really not even that cold in here. I'm imagining I'm going to have to change propane tanks pretty soon, but they're still running strong, like three hours deep, and they're halfway used, so... I think I should be good. The bluegills are cleaned, so that's done. Uh, gonna leave the jaw jacker set up over there. Look at him. How about you catch a fish over there, bud? Catch a damn fish. And uh, yeah, we're just kinda, kinda waited out. I plan on waking up early before the sun comes up and uh, going out and see if we can't get any walleyes or catfish. And then um, yeah, we're gonna do some catching and cooking and all sorts of fun stuff, so. On that note, I'm going to uh, head to bed, so hopefully you enjoyed this video so far, and hopefully you enjoyed the last video. Um, nothing too major has really happened in either of them. Caught some fish, caught one big fish, and uh, yeah, the camping, ice camping setup is uh, proven to be pretty good, actually. Pretty stoked about it. I plan on doing it again real soon, but uh, I've said but uh, too many times, so it's probably about time to let you go. I will... Uh, See you tomorrow, unless uh, the jaw jacker decides to uh, catch a fish, or the heater goes out, or I freeze to death, or I start sinking. If any of those things happen, you're going to see me before the morning, but other than that, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Now he decided to go off, huh? What is going on, you dirty old uh, stash bags? I don't know why I'm saying what is going on. Okay, good morning. It is, uh, my headlights on. It is 7.48 a.m. I overslept in my new little humble abode thing. We didn't catch much, and by we didn't catch much, we, we didn't catch anything. I uh, marked a couple fish here and there, but other than that, we set up on like the worst spot ever, I guess. But what can you do? I'm just happy I made it through the night. This was kind of an exploring thing or a uh, tester thing to see if I could even survive on the ice and not get too cold. And uh, I was actually pretty toasty. I had to change the uh, tanks on the Big Buddy heater one time, but I thought I'd have to change them a lot more than that. I mean, I had to wake up at 1.30 and change them, but that had been when they had been running for part of the day, another day, and for about five hours. And then they ran until about, they just died. So I'd say on low or medium, I think I actually had it on medium, two tanks, big buddy, six hours. I don't even know if I need to get the hose in the bigger tank because six hours is plenty. If I can get six hours of sleep and have to wake up and switch the tanks, I'm fine with that. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling now. We're gonna try to get on the last bit of this early bite with the big baits and then, uh, I don't know, we might cook some breakfast. I have no idea what my plans are for the day, but you're gonna wanna stay tuned because uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd appreciate it and something might happen, but see if we can catch one more big fish before the sun comes all the way up and then uh, we might do like a catch and cook on the island or something over there. I really should have brought like a hatchet or something so I could maybe try to make a fire. I don't know if that's legal though. Anyway, I'm just speculating now. I'm going to grab my uh, stuff. Let's get to fishing. Ow. Alrighty, well, we got about 20 holes drilled. It's basically a big giant flat up over there. That's where we caught the bluegills yesterday and then this is the... Uh, channel that winds down the side of it so I got some holes that are probably in like 15 down to 18 and uh, we're just kind of kind of bounce around I got both my panty fish pole and my big fish pole if I see suspended crappie I'll catch those or try and then uh, obviously gonna be focusing on the bottom with the big bait so all right fresher smaller piece of bait I had a bluegill head on it that's what got hit but didn't hold on to it too long or actually maybe it did I don't know I was sleeping all right, time to get to jigging. We're gonna have to go over to the flat and catch some bluegills or crappies eventually here because we're running out of bait. But for now, this is what we're doing. After I get the snow out of my gloves. Something going on here. I'm not really interested though. Weird, it's like the suspended fish won't even bite. They like mildly engaged that time, so I got excited, but it didn't seem like they were very bitey. There's like four or five of them too. Hmm, what to do? What to do? First of all, I'm gonna take my headlight off. 
So that's just giving me a headache for no reason. And then I think we're gonna move shallow. See if we can't luck into another big crappie or a uh, 10 inch bluegill and then uh, cook some breakfast. Bow. Oh. They're still here. First fish of the morning. Definitely not a not a big one. Definitely not the ideal fish, but we will keep him for uh, tip up purposes. Gonna dispatch him. And uh, yeah, probably won't keep any more fish the rest of the day, but just in case it's a tip up kind of day and they're going crazy, I'm gonna keep them for bait. But for now, we're gonna see if we can uh, get some bigger panty fish up shallow while we're waiting for flags and then uh, Probably call it a video. I gotta cook here pretty soon too, but I don't really, I'm not much of a breakfast person anyway. A bigger one. Eight and a half or something. Oh, came off. That's all right. Use our transducer up a bit. Wasn't a giant. There's a chance at some bluegills over a pound actually I think somebody caught one that was two pounds one ounce or two pounds two ounce so fishing for bluegills here isn't as lame as it normally is you got a shot at a damn giant so we're gonna do that after sitting in the shack all night not marking a damn thing basically I just want to catch something next time I do this I'm gonna get a little bit of an earlier start and make sure for sure that there's fish where I set up the shack. Cause a few days before there was fish where I set up the shack, but definitely weren't there last night. That was my bad. But what the hell do you do? Wolf will pow some more bluegills in the face. Another dandy, not one of the real big ones, but probably an eater. Got him right in the damn snoot. Barely hooked. Let's see, eight inch hole, he is eight and a half inches. Not bad, not bad. That's all fish, we're about to be in good shape. Do some fish. Not terrible, not what we're after though. That's a grown one, kind of, about the same size actually. That way, bud. Not a bad one. Pan fishing here is kind of fun. They're all they're all pretty decent sized. Still eight and a half. I mean, it's hard to get any that are real smaller than that. Or very much smaller than that. But yeah, just little five millimeter tungsten wax worm. 8.7 feet, getting it done. Size has definitely been improving from our first one, so that's all you can really ask for. Like one little branch down there and they're just chilling under it. Just a little, looks like a little tiny branch, it's nothing major. Just so many of them down there, freaking stacked. Just aren't getting the right ones. So we ain't gonna do this forever, but still got six hours out on the lake. Got chances at big fish, got tip up sitting over there. Might get a couple more. And uh, eventually gonna fish deep with our jigging rods too. But for now, this is uh, kind of fun. Waking up to a lake in your backyard with fishing, it is uh, a nice feeling. Even if they are just little pesky bluegills. That's not a little pesky bluegill. That's a big one. <laughs> yep, that's a, that's a grown one. All right, well, good old, probably pushing 10, might be nine and three quarters, who the hell knows. It definitely looks like 10 when I put it up to the hole, but waking up, 
walking out of your uh, little house and uh, being able to catch fish right away in the morning, nothing better. I really need to buy a bigger tripod so I don't have to kneel down and do this weird crap every time, but what can you do? Maybe next time. But yeah, we're gonna let this one go. As you can see, eight inch hole, hanging over at least an inch and a half. Definitely a big. Later, Billy. All right, well, we still got uh, six hours or so of uh, staying on the ice for 24 hours. So I'm gonna end it here and uh, we're gonna do some catching. We're gonna do some cooking in the uh, last video. And uh, yeah, we might even cook our food on that little old island over there. Who knows, that might be too much, too much work for the dramatic effect. But maybe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I will uh, see you guys here in a couple days for the uh, grand finale of the Catch or Die Tour 3. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this one. I appreciate the hell out of you. Okay, good, bye. Pow.